So we're going to see how to use bcrypt. You go to Wikipedia, bcrypt is a password hashing function. So a hashing function, I like the way uh, cryptographic hash function is a special class of hash functions that has uh, certain properties which make it suitable for use in crypto cryptography. And a hash function is any function that can be used to map data of arbitrary size to data of fixed size. And so when you run a chunk of something through a hash function, right, it will give you a fixed size result. And, uh, and that way you can kind of hash something and get, you know, a certain mix of letters and characters and numeric, whatever, so that any other time you hash that thing, it'll give you the same mix. So it's a one-way sort of mix it up from large size to small size. If you change one one little character about what's going in, it can gives you a completely different output. So uh, we're going to use bcrypt for encrypting passwords, and we just want to see how bcrypt works. And if we go to godoc and look at godoc.org and looked at look, well, we'll just search for bcrypt. And there's golang.org x crypto bcrypt. So these are things that haven't made their way to the standard library, but might eventually do so, the X package. So uh, we'll go into X, or whatever, the X directory. And bcrypt, and so in bcrypt here, we have generate from password, and we give it a password and a cost, and gives us a slice of byte and error, and then compare a hash and a password. So those are the two we're gonna use. And for the cost, we'll just use the constant uh, min cost, min cost, which is just int equals four. It's an int and it's equal to four. The maximum allow cost is passed in to that thing. So generate from password. So let's say we have a submitted password. This is coming through on a form and that's equal to shaken, not stirred. And then we could get our slice of bytes and an error, colon equals, and bcrypt dot generate from password. Generate from password. And we're going to give it, okay, cool, there it is, bcrypt. And I want that bcrypt. And generate from password, and it wants the password as a slice of bytes. So I'm going to do slice of byte conversion, pa uh, submitted password. And then it also wants the cost, so I could do bcrypt min cost. And so that's going to give me a byte slice. And um, I'm actually going to put this here. Okay, so this would be, the first part would be user signs up. Sending us new credentials. And then we have here, store BS in a database. So we're not storing the password in the database, we're storing a hash, you get it now, Jeremy? I understand what it's doing. Okay. So, it's having some getting it to work. And so that's BS is now stored in the database. And so now let's say let's pretend they're now logging in. And uh, and they give us the submitted password. And it's shaken, not stirred with one R. Okay. And so now we need to compare and we should check our error. So now we need to compare the submitted password with what's stored in the database. And so that's going to be uh, bcrypt. And this is going to return uh, compare hash and password returns an error. Error, colon, I think just equals bcrypt 
compare hash and password. And so here we have hash password and password slice a byte. So the hash password is what's already in our database. So that's going to be the byte slice one. And then we're going to have the slice of bytes, which is the password that was passed in. And so that's going to be slice of bytes submitted password. And then that's it. it. Gives us an error. So what this will do is it will run this through the hash, you know, that bcrypt uses, and compare it to this one. And then if there's an error, I'm going to change this one to print line. If there's an error. I'll just print that out. Now let's run it. So wait. Passwords do not match. So if we now match them and run it in a program, everything's fine. It's good. What's your question? I'm getting an error. Oh, let's come take a look. 